Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, we are going to see how to use AND OR logical operators. AND OR logical operators are used to check the results of multiple expressions. This is not only in Autolist programming, in any other programming, we will have AND OR logical operators which are used to check the results of multiple expressions. Let us say we have two variables x and y whose values we want to check that is x is greater than y is our first condition and y is greater than phi is our second condition. So to check whether this x value is greater than phi and y value also greater than phi so we will use and condition. So this and is particularly used to check all the expressions are returning true. So let us see the different conditions how and operator will evaluate different results of expressions. Let us say first condition and second condition or the first expression and second expression results are true true then and will return true. Similarly if the first condition results are true and second condition is false then and will return false because and expects all the expression results true. Similarly, if the first condition is false and second condition's result is true, then and will again return false. Similarly, if both the conditions results are false, then and will return false again. So and is particularly not only two conditions, you can have any number of conditions using and 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 will return only true when all the conditions supplied are true. Similarly, R is also used to check the results of multiple conditions. In this, if the first expression and second expressions are true, results are true, then R will return true. R will return true if at least one of the supplied expressions is true, then R will return true. If any, if all the expressions are false, then only it will say the final result is false. So here if you check the first condition and second condition values, if both are true, R will return true. If at least one is true, it means the first expression result is true and the second one is false, even though it will say true, means one of the expressions is true. Similarly, first expression is false, second expression result is true, then the result is true. And if both the results of expressions are false, then it will say false because all the expressions are evaluating to false. So R will return false. So hope bo both are little bit different, but both are unique and is used to check all the expressions are returning true and R is used to check whether at least one of the expression is returning true. Okay, let's try to write a small program using AND operator. Go to Visualist IDE. Already there is a new sheet. I am going to write a program to find the biggest of given three numbers. So first of all, the title and comments. Program to find the biggest of given three numbers using AND, and operator. Okay, so define C colon say big is our command and closing parenthesis. Now we need to take three numbers from the user. Let's take integer numbers. So yes, so set Q say A get int backslash n enter first number. So we have taken first number. Similarly get int backslash n enter second number. So we have taken second number C get int backslash n enter third number. So with this we have finished taking three numbers from the user. Now we need to check which is the biggest number. So I am going to use cond operator which is available in Autolisp which can which we can use for if else series. In this again we are writing like this first condition. Hope everybody knows that first is function then argument argument that is the syntax of the order list. So our conditions are and 
greater than a a greater than b and a greater than c so check here we are checking a is greater than b and a is greater than c so if both conditions are true then the expression to be evaluated is like this alert a is big so it will pop up a message saying that a is big similarly if this expression means if a is greater than b and a is greater than c becomes false then it will fall to second statement here i am writing if b is greater than a again b is greater than c now we are checking the second one then same b is big because b is greater than a and b is greater than c means the big b is the biggest one among three if this second condition also fails that means a is not big b is not big then we don't have to check it again directly say assume true and alert c is big we don't have to check it again because we know that a is not greater than b and c and b is not greater than a and c then the c is only the biggest thing so simply say c is big so with that our program is finished so first of all localize the variables a b c and go to tools and check text in the editor no errors and again go to tools and load text in the editor now our command is big so execute the program i am taking visual lisp console window to execute the program here we need to write it like this parenthesis c colon big and if you press enter then it will go to autocad c at the command prompt it is asking enter first number say 3 is my first number and then 5 is second number and 4 is third number see b is big what is b b is 5 we can also show the number value directly instead of writing a b c we can also say so and so number is big if you want to write it like that since abc are integers you cannot show them directly in the alert we need to convert them that is like this str cat i to a a and this statement is big and close the str cat hope everybody know that how to concatenate strings we are converting integer a into alphabet and we are saying it is big similarly i am writing to b also b is big and close the this one here also c is big okay so now again go to tools check text in the editor and again go to tools and load text in the editor and you can also go to autocad and execute big command directly going to autocad type big get the command prompt and it is asking enter first number my number is 4 second number is 5 third number is 6 so it is saying 6 is big similarly try another few three numbers say 5 2 4 so 5 is the big so like that we will use and operator to check the given all conditions are coming true it will check a is greater than b as well as a is greater than c similarly in the second statement it will check b is greater than a and b is greater than c if a is not greater than other two items like b and c and b is not greater than a and c then directly c will be the biggest one so that's why i'm writing directly assuming true as the result i'm writing show c as biggest one so like this we will use and operator to check the all expressions or all the conditions are returning true means becoming true so that we can execute something else hope everybody understood this concept okay let's try to write a practical example how to use or logical operator in autocad so here i have few text entities some of them are having yellow color and some are green color now 
what is it i am going to write is like i want to write a dry circle around text entities whose color is equal to either yellow or green so using or operator i am going to do this one so let's go to visually spidey and first of all comment program to draw a circle around the text whose color is 2 or 3 here r that is the operator we are going to use either 2 or 3 means yellow or green so i am writing the program like this define c colon color the text that is my command and what is it we need to do in the beginning we need to select all the text entities so if s set q selection set 1 as is get see what are all the things we need to select all the entities and filter only all text objects okay so what is it we are doing we are creating a selection set using ss get we are selecting all the entities in the autocad and filtering only text objects by giving entity type text so that if this if this selection set is there then program proceed to process okay so first of all we need to check how many number of entries are entities are selected so set q say ss length means selection set length that is ss length of selection set 1 and a counter variable to process the objects one by one so in while loop i am going to check as long as counter is less than ss length then proceed to process so hope everybody know how to take the database of every entity first of all we need to read each object name so it is like this set q entity ss name from set 1 at counter position and then its database edb and get entity name once we get the entity data then we need two things one is insertion point of the text and then another one is color of the text so first of all take the insertion point cdr of assoc 10 10 code will hold the insertion point from edb so hope everybody knows that association will get the association association list of 10 dxf code and in that we are excluding 10 means we will take only value of that association list into pt variable then color of the text so c is a color cdr of assoc 62 of edb so we have got entity name over here entity database and from that we are extracting insertion point of the text and color of the text now we need to check if the color is 2 or 3 if so then we need to draw a circle around the text so it is like this if r equal to c2 equal to c3 what is it we are writing here c equal to 2 or c equal to 3 if so then what to do we need to draw a circle it is like this entity type circle entity uh, circle center point 10 code at the insertion point of the text and let us try to draw the circle in the same color okay so what are all the different things we need to give to the autocad to draw circle circle center point and radius so here radius is missing so i am writing like this 40 code comes 40 some two units radius circle i am going to draw here so circle at pt with two units radius and 62 means color with c whatever the color of text the with the same color we are going to draw the circle that's what the if condition if if condition returns true then we need to draw this circle once that finish then we need to increase the counter otherwise the loop will keep on continuing so set q counter on plus counter so if you omit this statement the program will never ending it will keep on rotating in the while loop so the program will not complete 
so it is very important to increase the counter okay then so with that the program is finished so let us check this go to tools and check text in the editor again go to tools and load text in the editor then what is our command ct so go to autocad and type ct at command prompt and press enter so you can see a circle is drawn at insertion point of text entities whose color is either green or yellow you can observe that one so like this we can use or operator in autolisp so here while finding biggest of three numbers we have used end operator and here in this program we have used or operator to check whether color is equal to either two or three means either yellow or green so friends hope you understood this how to use and operator and r operator so i am attaching this program at the comment session those who want to check this program line by line you can check the program as well and friends here in the ct we have not localized the variables so it is very important so all the variables which we have used we need to write it over here so that those variables will be cleaned from the memory after the execution of the program so make it a in make it a habit of writing all the variable names over here means localizing the variables it is a must so friends hope you understood if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session